I'm Lizzie. My sister Nettie and my cousins are going to find out about the COVID-19 virus. I'm Milo, the smart cousin. We are going to use our ship, the Cosmic Egg, for an expedition. I'm VC. We are going to use the ship's time, space, and especially the size change function to find out how our grandpa got sick. I'm Nettie. I'm the ship's navigator. I can also use my drone to get really close-up views of the virus. And I'm Grandpa. I'm their victim for this expedition. We'll start by traveling back in time six days before I got sick. This was the only time I was out of the house in the two weeks before I got sick. I must have gotten infected here. Grandpa, I can't believe after all you have said to us about being careful that you broke quarantine to eat donuts. Yeah, Papa. And four donuts? Yeah, bad, bad Grandpa. Grandpa. Okay, I get the message. Bad Grandpa. But we can use my mistake to find out how I got sick from COVID-19. Okay, Grandpa. Let's wait here and see what happens. Hey, Peter. Oh, hi, George. How you doing? Oh, I'm not feeling too well. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, sorry. Ah, oh, jeez. I think I should go. Bye, George. Feel better. Oh, George, you should be wearing a mask. Bad Grandpa again. You should have been wearing a mask, too. Looks like his sneeze didn't get to you, Papa. And it mostly landed on the table. We can't be sure, VC. Lizzie, please change our size down to the size of tiny aerosol droplets. Reduce our size by one million. That's micron droplet size. Aye, aye, sir. I'm on it. Grandpa, you are right. There are still plenty of tiny droplets in the air. I bet that the droplets have coronavirus particles in them. Okay, kids, let's fly over to my nose and see if I got any of it. Grandpa, it's going into your nose and mouth. Just as I suspected, I was inhaling lots of the tiny infected droplets. Let's follow the droplets and see what happens. Wow, it's kind of dark in here. Where are we? Hey guys, BC and I got the navigation system going. The red X is where we are. It says we are in your nose, Papa. Let's keep going, kids. I'll turn on the floodlights. This is way cool! We are in Papa's trachea. I just switched to a better view of the trachea. Right. That is also called my windpipe. That pipe carries air to my lungs. These red mounds are mucus cells, and the fluid is mucus. Oh, Nettie, use the drone camera for a close-up view of the mucus cells.
Now we got a close-up view from the drone on the computer screen. What is this stuff that looks like hair? Why is it in your windpipe? The hair is called cilia. The mucus fluid on top traps dust and foreign particles so they don't get into my lungs. The cilia then move it up my windpipe so I can cough it away. Lizzie, start going forward in time so we can see if any droplets with the virus get here. Got it. I'm advancing time by one hour every minute. Look! I see some of the droplets appearing! And they are sticking to the cells. And some of the individual virus particles are getting past fluid out of the droplets. Nettie, change our size to get a closer look. I'm on it. Oh no! The virus is attaching itself to the mucus cell! Yeah, one of the things sticking out on the virus just grabbed that little nub on the cell. Lizzie. Start going forward in time, so we can see what happens next. Aye aye, sir. Advancing time by one hour every minute. Wow, the virus is going all the way into the cell. Lots of other COVID particles are doing the same thing! Look, the surface of the cell is clear. The virus particles are all inside the mucus cells. There is another way that a virus can invade a cell. It can grab a cell's receptor and attach itself to the cell's wall, and then inject building instructions for the cell to make virus copies. Lizzie, keep moving forward in time. Got it. Whoa! Lots of viruses are popping out all over your mucus cell, Grandpa! There are lots more particles than the few that went into the cell. That's right, kids. The viruses got duplicated in my cells. Wow! The virus has turned Papa's mucus cells into factories to make duplicates of itself. That's a pretty smart virus that gets your own body to do all the work. Grandpa! Where is your immune system? Yeah, Papa, your body needs to call in your troops. That's a good question, guys. I do have immune cells called B lymphocytes scattered among the mucus cells. They sense that a foreign virus is in my windpipe and produce antibodies. Hey, Nettie and VC, please do a computer search for the antibodies in the trachea. Get an image on the screen so we know what to look for. We found it, Papa. The ones in the trachea are called IgA antibodies. Look at the screen. That's what they look like. The antibodies are finding the virus particles and attaching to the structures that stick out of their surfaces. With the antibodies hanging onto them, the viruses can't get into my mucus cells, and so they can't reproduce. Yeah, Grandpa, but a lot of the antibodies don't seem to know what they are supposed to do. And anyway, even if they did, it doesn't look like there are enough antibodies to save you. Papa, the fact that you got sick suggests that the antibody protection didn't happen fast enough. That must be right. Grandpa, the virus particles are moving further down your windpipe. 
Can we follow them? Yes. Nettie, please move us down the trachea. Aye, aye, sir. I'm on it. We are at the fork in the windpipe. Yeah. Those are my two bronchial tubes that take the air to my two lungs. Let's keep going. I'll take us into the left fork. Okay, now we are in a bronchi. This part looks clean. Lizzie, please go ahead in time. Aye, aye, sir. Got it. The virus is arriving now! That didn't take too long. And it looks like there are a lot more of them. Should I keep going? Yes, keep going. Smaller and smaller? Looks like we are at a dead end. We are in one of the alveoli. Right. Those are the lungs' air sacs, where oxygen from the air goes into the blood, and carbon dioxide from the blood goes into the air. Grandpa, the walls are going back and forth. Right, Lizzie. That's what pumps the air in and out when I breathe. Lizzie, start going forward in time so we can see what happens next. Got it. Advancing time by one hour, every minute. Look! Here comes the virus particles! The virus particles are swarming all over the alveoli. Lots of fluid, too. All that junk on the surface is preventing oxygen from getting into the air sac. That's when I could hardly breathe. This is getting bad. Yeah, really, really bad. Man! Water has filled the entire air sac! How could you breathe, Grandpa? That was the problem, Lizzie. I couldn't breathe. I had pneumonia, and that is when I got rushed to the hospital. Now we know how you got sick, Papa. That virus is dangerous. Great job, kids. Let's go back to the Mystery Museum in the present time. Grandpa, I heard that they are working on a COVID-19 vaccine. My mom volunteered to test it. How is that going to work? Guess what, kids? We can do another expedition to find out. How is that going to help us learn about the vaccine? I get it. Aunt Debbie will be our next victim, er, subject. Right. This time, we will follow the vaccine. This video was based on a chapter in the Race to the Big Bang Illustrated Storybook. You can read it and the Stardust Mystery Book to have more adventures with the Cosmic Kids. And you can learn lots of science about atoms and astronomy. You can find out how your atoms were produced in the explosive death of stars. That's why atoms are called stardust. And you can find lots more science videos on our Stardust Mystery YouTube channel. Check out video games, short stories, and student projects at our website. TheStardustMystery.com